Yo, man, it's almost 4.30. I got to get the fuck out of here. Top dollar and pop bottles and drop knowledge. Uh-huh. Hit the throttle on nice autos without college. Do yourself a solid, put them boys on your screen. Wait, who do you mean? I mean canteen and beans. Yeah. When the social norm is on, you better pay attention. They teach you lessons, make you laugh when you're stressing. Must I mention that the style is infectious? I got a habit, I got a habit. The rapid fire cabin on my tablet. My boys established a gamut of information from relations to dating to when you lead it, get some patient. The lace in the nation every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30. The Social Norm Podcast, you heard me? It's the Social Norm. And I'm just getting warm. It's the Social Norm. And I'm just getting warm. It's the Social Norm. All right, what up, bro? what up, what up, y'all? You already know what it is, man. Hey, we back at it again with another one. Hey, I'm your boy, Canteen. This is my man, Bean. What's going on, y'all? Y'all see the setup. It's a little different, man. We moving and grooving, baby. Hey, before I go ahead and get into this episode, you know I got to go ahead and get y'all a disclaimer. This is me and Bean's personal opinion. This is not factual. This is not the ultimatum. This is not the end-all, be-all. It's just what we think, and we give our opinion. You give us yours. You know what I mean? So, today's episode is love is dead your man beans he yeah. back from the dead for one <laughs> yes, because y'all know he had the covid i had the rona i got COVID. now before we even get into the episode i want you tell us yes. how was it it was it was crazy because it hit it hit me fast mm. it hit me hard and it it left mm. and then I yeah was that, fine. that sounds like me on a friday night <laughs> <laughs> i'm just fucking with y'all all right so well before i say anything before you say anything else I want to thank everybody who called me and checked on me, you know, looked out for me when I was uh, sick because I was really sick. And uh, I really appreciate it. It made me realize uh, t- to be thankful for the people that's in your corner, for real. So you got three people in your in your life that like you. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Better than zero. So yeah, yeah, we are happy that you're back in good yeah. health and yeah, everything, right. you know. Okay. So today's episode, like I said, it's called Love is Dead. Beans came up with the title. I did. I thought, honestly, <laughs> because you was out on COVID, I thought it was going to be on some, like, depression, some right? depression <laughs> fuck fuck my life, no, I don't no. like nothing. That's what I thought she was going to go with. Yeah, it, I know it sounds dark, because when I told you what it was, I was like, I was like man, I need to, you need to explain this. Change this a little so bit. So explain to me and the people what, what so love is. Instead of love is it, I want to say, is it dead? Is love dead? Is the question of the day. Okay. Now, in my uh, isolation, you can't go nowhere. So all, all I do is watch YouTube and, you know, TikTok all day. And I notice how many uh, relationship podcasts are, even us. You know, we've even talked about it. Yeah. And I realized that there, with uh, Valentine's Day coming up, that there is like a definite line drawn in the sand between men and women. Especially black between men. the thoughts and the fuck boys. <laughs> yeah. That's what he really want to say. <laughs> so, so, and I was like, man, with Valentine's Day coming up, mm-hmm. is is anybody even gonna have a Valentine's Day? Is anybody even gonna be a Valentine's Day? Now, when you brought this up to me, and I, I like I said, I thought it was gonna be something different. I really had to think about this because in the last year or two. In this last year, I've seen a huge divide between men and women uh-huh. to where men can do no right. We we fuck boys. We, we, we ain't shit. All this fuck niggas get money. That's what girls are saying nowadays. And on the other end, you see the Kevin Samuels. You see, you know, all these different podcasts to where men are telling women, you know, that you gold diggers, you ain't shit, you this, you that. You know what I mean? You, 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 um. Cry babies, you want, you know, you want things you can, that are unrealistic. It's a huge divide in the men and women's space right now. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, this is my opinion. Okay. I know I got to give y'all my opinion. Okay. With Valentine's coming around, you're going to see every single person that bashes men, ladies, the view, um, 
whoever else platform, you know, the 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 Nicki Minaj's, the uh, Cardi B's, and I think what you're gonna see is women changing their tune because they know this is the time that we shine. Because women gonna want us at this point. They need us for Valentine's Day because without a Valentine's, they realize their life is worthless without us. Okay? Are you saying the this? validation yeah, needs validation. is needed on Valentine's Day by ladies. And if, if they, they can't keep talking that men ain't shit shit when Valentine's Day comes around. On something. Okay. I get that and I understand that. But and I and I agree with you with you to a point. But I really feel like the way things are going, yeah. I honestly think I don't think it's gonna be like that. What do you mean? You think they're gonna just say, "Okay, fuck it"? We like come. you know that Tyler Perry saying, "I can do battle by myself. I don't need my, I don't need no man. I can be my own Valentine." Things like that. I honestly think. Oh, here we go. I'm listening. Go ahead. I honestly think that that line in the sand is still gonna be there. I don't think so. I think women are gonna change their tune and be like, "Oh, you know, let's." You're gonna start seeing videos on the view of. The top romantic things men do for women. The top, you know, what I mean, they're gonna try to make it easy so so women can go ahead and get get what they're trying to get out of Valentine's Day, which is the validation, which is gifts, which is showing our confessing our love for them. And soon as that's over, back to the bullshit. Well, yeah, and that's and that's what I'm, and that's what I was thinking when I was uh, quarantined. I was like, is 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 that is that's going to happen? Is it going to be this back and forth? And then. And if as as a man, are you gonna are you gonna want to celebrate Valentine's Day with a woman? Now put in the comments <laughs> if you think you're gonna have a Valentine's Day this year. And if you want to go ahead and get on the live stream with us, I just went and put a comment in the comment section, the first comment in the comment section. You guys can go ahead and click the link, get on the stream yard, put in a little information, and you can get on this live stream with us. Now, if you wanna go ahead and support the channel. I'm not telling you you have to. You can go ahead and put a like, share, and a subscribe. And if you want to go ahead and hit us up in that cash app, you know what it is. It's that dollar sign, the Social Norm Podcast, just as a support. You know what I mean? Some of this shit ain't free. You know what I mean? I had to go ahead and get my EBT card to go ahead and get some of this stuff. I'm just letting y'all know. So go ahead and hook a brother up. And my other point about this was, um, okay, um, when do we stop? you know, with the theory of talking about everything, about how men should be, how women, how women should, should be. be. And when are we going to start practicing this? You know what <laughs> oh, I mean? When do we start practicing what we preach? Instead of, yeah, when instead of theory, when are we going to go to the application phase? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when are we going to start doing this? Like, that's why I said love is dead, because it's like, where we, like I said, everybody's I think, talking about how everybody should be. They're forgetting the I, whole point of relationships. I think it's easier for people to talk shit. It's always easier to talk about the opposite sex. Oh, oh that's the I, easy I, route. Everybody knows that. If shit ain't going wrong in your life, it's easier to talk about women. If women, if you don't got a man and things ain't going right for you, it's easier to talk about why why men aren't shit. That's the easy route. I think that people need to start focusing more on themselves. And bettering themselves than focusing on what other people, what the other sex is not doing. I think I've, I've, I can admit, I can admit to y'all, I have gotten into that mix, that bag, that tunnel, that hole of talking bad about the opposite sex. And you've checked me on that a couple of times. Yeah. You're like, hey, you know what, I man, you got to get a little dark on how, <laughs> how, how bad women are. But it's frustrating. But the reality is, I have to check myself. If I if you want to see things get better, you got to do things better for yourself. Yeah, you got to start with you. You know, and that's true. I didn't learn that lesson too. I'm not even gonna sit here in front. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you are what you attract. So if you're attracting losers on men or women's side, it's probably because you are not being the best person you can be. I'm not even gonna say you're a loser. I'm just gonna say you're not being the best you can be. And I. I uh... I thought for a while there, it is, it is like you said about it is about listening to other people. I, I listen to these other podcasts honestly, purely for entertainment. Because I told yeah. you the other day, dude was like, uh, "Women have a shelf life." I was like, "What?" Oh yes, y'all was like, "What?" And then, you know, so crazy though, when you said that, 
I, 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 I honestly can say, I can see myself saying something. Like I was that. like, yo. I was, I say some more ignorant shit that I just realized, like, you know what? I, it, do I think it has some merit? Yes, I do think it has some merit. But I think to say it as women have a shelf life, it means like once they hit a certain point, they're not valuable anymore. And that's not true. That's not true. Everybody is valuable at every point of their life because we all are special. We all are one of a kind. But the value changes. I will agree that I think somebody who's in their prime of their life, their value changes for when they're older. They're wiser. That's the thing. I think the value has changed. Well, yeah. Well, he well, he basically was saying because women lose their women lose their value because of uh, their biological clock, and as they get older, beauty does fade. Mm -hmm. so, and some people, it's not always the case. And they're and I guess women are competing with. Um, you mean beauty don't fade? Beauty it's, fades it's, everybody. No, I'm saying there are some women who, women who get around who do look good. They do look good. It's a different type of looking good. Though. Well, yeah, I, I know. I know. I get that. I, I know. Like, I'm not going to sit there and say, I do believe there's women who are 65 and they look beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But do you think that same woman who looks beautiful at 65 looks better than when she was 25 or 30? No, no that's true. That's all. Yeah, well, that's what he's basically saying. You know, as yeah. you get older, you're competing with younger women and things like that. But I, but when he said it, when he first said it, that's when I had to. I was like, "Damn, love is dead." Because it's just <laughs> it's getting rough out here. It's just street. getting rough. All the stuff. I'm sometimes hearing. you gotta, you know, sometimes like like when you were in COVID and you were just decompressing. Uh -huh. I think you have to take yourself back <clears throat> from social media, from all these different opinions, and really figure out what you, what is your opinion. That's big. Yes. Put in the comment section. What is your opinion about? the state of men and women in America. What is your opinion on the state of women and, and, and men and how we see each other? Because at the end of the day, sometimes you can get confused when you get so many different opinions out there. You, just, you don't even know there, what your fucking there, opinion there is. There are a lot. And I think it's dangerous to listen to. I always tell people, don't listen to these, do, to these um, gurus. Gurus, because they you don't know how they live it. And I think it's dangerous. Says, Jimmy said, Angela Bassett look bad now. How dare you, sir? No, she does not. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway. I don't think this is a thing. To say somebody looks bad, just let's I guess we gotta go in to say they look different. Yeah. Well, like they you said, different. beauty is subjective. So he can she can look bad that to, to him. And then somebody and else be like, man, I drink her that bath water. Exactly. I think she looked good. Two weeks old, I'm not gonna lie, you always had a thing for Tina Turner. And that's she too swole for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. She's too swole for me. Oh, some people say that about Angela Bassett. Well, now, now you got me interested to find out what Angela Bassett looked like now. Yeah, she on that show, man. I think she looked good. But anyway, oh, she do. Wait a minute. Look, y'all. Let's see what Angela Bassett yeah. looked like. Uh, oh, that's when. That's why you said Tina Turner. Now you know I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go open it up for y'all because I don't even want to sit there and act like I'm gonna look and find the best photo. All right, because for me, she looked good. I don't care. I'm just gonna click on this one right here. Boom. She don't look good, dude. Jimmy, she don't look good. Okay, for a mother, for an older woman, she does look good to me. Because if that was your mom, I mean, hey, Miss Beans, <laughs> I'm. Nah, I wouldn't let my mom come out at all. For her age, yeah, she do. Okay. You know, put a one in the comment if you think she look good. Put a two if she trash. She definitely not trash. She might. Like, eh. But back to the show. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Like I said, I think it's it's really dangerous to really start to listen to some of these people, man. Because you do start to think your mind your mind do get swayed the way it's just like politics or yeah. anything on CNN, Fox. You start sitting there believing the hype and you yes. be like, yeah, you're right. That do make sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. Think not, for yourself. Exactly. Like, I always say this. I always used to get this dude, Derek Jackson, thrown in my face. Like, oh, yeah. Always. I ain't heard from him in a while. I know. I'm glad. Because <laughs> I used to hear, I used to, it got to the point where I couldn't stand this dude. I, I don't even know this, man. I can't even stand this dude. Isn't that funny how women made him and women destroyed him and at the same time? At the same time. And um, I always kept hearing, well, how can you get be like more like more like Derek Jackson? He did he talking, he making sense, this and this. And then it came out that he cheating on his wife with three different women. And I was like, you still want me to be like this dude? Like, 
So I stop listening to these people, man. Stop it. Now, we got to go ahead and switch it up for a second. Everybody, you got to think for yourself. And we got, and we're gonna bring up a subject right now that you brought up to me, and I saw it, and I, I I saw a little piece of it, but I didn't know the whole span. You took, you broke it down to me. Now, from what you told me was Drake. Yes, Drake re- was recently in a situation where he messed with this IG model, and ended up having sexual relations with her. Yeah, and after the fact, you know, he had his little, you know. Little swimmers, and he wanted to put a little extra, little hot sauce to make them swim up, up, spice it up, tie it up, throw it in the trash. Uh-huh. Apparently, this girl went when he left. She was like, "He gone? Okay, let me go ahead and grab this mother." And, and you know, she tried that. What you call it? A uh, turkey, turkey base that motherfucker in her stuff, and it burned her insides. And now she's trying to sue. Yes. Now you want to go ahead and tell me your side of what you think, what you've seen from most people's reaction. Now, my my thing is about the story is this: a lot of people are talking about um, how he put the hot sauce in the condom. Yeah, but the real story is the fact that this woman tried to steal this man's sperm, man. Like that is the story, not the. Hot, I mean, the hot sauce is just is the ending of the story. Well, I guess the beginning of the new story. It's just the fact that it and it's not illegal. I looked it up. It's not illegal. So it's this, this you know, and I gotta go ahead and zoom out for this one because I want y'all to see my face. So you telling me it's not illegal in America for women, for anybody to take semen after you've disposed of it to use for their own as, purpose as far as I to can, get a baby. As far as I can tell, and I looked it up. And if, if if somebody in here can prove me different, um, it's not illegal. If she would have gotten pregnant by this man, he would have had to take care of the baby. Put in the comment section if you think that's right, wrong, or should it be should it be illegal? Let me tell you right now. So you telling me it's not illegal to steal a man's seed, but it's illegal to steal some pussy? Yes. <laughs> where is it? Where does the line be crossed to where it's right and wrong? At some point, we gotta hold these women accountable for these crazy ass. Like, how is she? Uh, this is my question. How is she allowed to sue? Because if you allowed to sue something, and you that's letting you say you're not wrong for what you did. But you know what? That's that's America. How can you be wrong and still be right? Listen, that's remember the remember the female who put the uh, hot McDonald's coffee in her lap when she drove away. And yeah, no, in. no, but I I researched more about that. McDonald's had been told by multiple health inspections that the that the coffee they have was three times hotter than what they supposed temperature wise for oh, regulation. Okay. They had told them, and they had been getting fine after fine after fine. They just didn't care. They said, "Fuck it, we didn't pay the fine. We don't care." And then the lady ended up burning herself and got third degree burns. That's why. She she sued, she sued because of the history that McDonald's had already wow, been in okay. place, and that's why she won. Okay, now that makes sense. yes. Now, and and my thing about the story is this: the Drake story. Going back to Drake's story. Now, I said this to you too. Now, he does have some responsibility in this, as far as this, as far as this. If you're meeting up with somebody and you gotta put hot sauce in your condom, yeah, to. To make sure she don't steal it, you really need to start rethinking your actions. Okay, maybe you don't need to be doing this if you gotta carry some, some hot sauce. That's a you. fact. If you gotta go yeah. through all these leaps and bounds to deal with a woman, fellas, don't deal with her. Yeah. If you can't trust this woman, that she's gonna go through fucking dig up. Uh, you know, you gotta put it eight feet down deep for her to fucking not find it. Just for her to get, yeah. like, my question is this, ladies, and I really want to know this. You want to be put on so bad that you're willing to bring a, a life into the world on these type of merits, on these type of situations? This is why the world is fucked up like it is. Because you want to go ahead and bring a life into the world on some scheming shit. Yeah. How is you even expect her, this, one, this child, whether it be a boy or girl, to have any trust in the world? Because I'm telling you right now. Anytime the baby around me, if that's if that was my kid, oh, I'm telling you, mama ain't shit. <laughs> Your mama ain't shit, and she's a dead ass lie, and I don't trust no one. <laughs> that's how I'm be thinking if I was him. 
You, you gonna tell it to your kids? Hell don't yeah! Why that. wouldn't I? Don't, your mama is is an ain't shit person, don't and they that. and this is. And let me say this: this is why America's fucked up right now because ladies, you guys do not challenge or or demonize your own when you guys do shit like this. All the women should be banding together to get this type of woman out of here. Yeah, it is messed up what she did. They let her they let her slide. They always let her slide. And then when men speak up about it, we post a, oh, well, you know what? You should take more care about yourself. The man put hot sauce, tied it up, and threw it in the trash. How much more steps does he have to take to say, I don't want to have a baby with this crazy bitch? Well, he, he wanted to use a sandwich bag or something next time. But <laughs> that's the thing. You shouldn't have to do that. This is why I say men in America are victim. We're victimless. We can never be a victim. It's only going to be the woman. She's literally the reason all this is happening, and they're letting her sue him. How is she? You, you sue people when you're the victim. But like I said, that's that's America, though. Like you could you can rob somebody. You can you can break somebody's home and get hurt. Yeah, and you can sue that person. I think that happened one time. Yeah, it? but still, and it set the precedent. We, I'm gonna say right now. America has they've lost their moxie. They've lost they can't drop their nuts on nobody no more. They can't do nothing where you people should be even scared of us because we allow people like this to go and do shit like this and not be accounted for. First off, her Instagram should be taken away from her. Any form, just like how y'all want to cancel people for when they say anything about gays or transsexuals or anything of that nature, you should be demonizing people who are doing wrong and trying to bring life in the world. She should be forced to take a um, what is it called? A polygraph. No, what's it when you two tie? Oh, she should be forced that. to where she Whoa, can't oh, even don't... have kids. Hell yes. No, do what do you mean? No. What do you mean? No. That's, you want you wait a minute, hold on. You gonna sit there and tell me you want this type of woman to be a mother? That's what you're telling me? She no should, hold her accountable. Be, okay, yes. Hold if they if, yes. A, if a motherfucking dude raped a woman and stole some pussy, guess what I do? That motherfucker can't never have kids. He can get his dick chopped off. Oh I'm just being real. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, okay. Tell me I'm wrong. It, it, okay. I'm just saying, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Put in the comment section if you if you if y'all agree with me. Put the ones in the comment section if you agree with me. Put the two. Not take a second or two there. Having a two time. I'm saying I, is this: so, at some point, America, we have to make if we want our, like I'm being I'm going ahead and use it. If you want America to be great, oh cut off the gene pool for dumb motherfuckers. Oh <laughs> cut them off. If you're cut off evil people, that's an evil act, bro. That's an evil act. You that's don't like that's that, what people don't realize. Some like Arabian stuff, like where you steal and they cut your hand off, man. No, no, that is do you understand that you're not only affecting this man's life, but you're affecting a child into to society on so on it's like a man going and raping women to, for her to ha and then for her ha for her to have her kid. His kid. You know, I get I get what you're saying. The drop the trauma you are about to bring in to this world. She needs to get her tubes tied. They should force her to make because right now her mental state is not is not right. You keep smiling. That's, that's you just, keep smiling. That's, that's, just, not right. that's just extreme though, man. That's oh, listen, yeah. oh, listen. Hold up. Listen, it's I, not hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You just said that's extreme. Yes. I want you to understand what this woman did. I know where she did. And is I, that extreme? And I, it is. And I uh, so why I, don't uh, we match extreme with motherfucking extreme? I agree that she needs to be that she shouldn't be allowed to sue. She needs to be held accountable for what she did. How do you hold them accountable? I, I'm not, I don't I don't have I just answer. answered it for you. Wait, see, see the two? problem. See, that's the problem with everybody wanna say something need to get done, something need to get done, but nobody wanna say what need to get done. I just said it. <laughs> I don't think that's it. I'm the judge, jury, and executioner in this think motherfucker. That's it, though. What, okay, this is the thing. See, see, I want y'all to see this, y'all. I want y'all to see this. He said, I don't think that's it. That's the same shit motherfucker said when Colin Kaepernick was kneeing, and they said, oh, I don't think he should protest like that. He should protest some other way. Well, what other way would you say he should protest? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. But not that way. Give me. You can tell. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this. 
they did somebody did something people don't like you're saying that something needs to be done about it go what needs to be done about it i'm on jail time i don't know theft the property something theft the property she, she's still trying to what steal the fuck she can give him <laughs> no i mean she's stealing his she's okay trying to steal his we stuff. understand the act what should be done of it put her in jail put her in jail for how long I don't know. Three years. I don't know. Three years? You think three years will solve it? Hmm. It'll solve something. She ain't on the street. So, wait a minute. Let me get this right. So she can go to jail for three years. You, th you think she still can't go get men to fuck her? You think, men you think she still can't entrap another man from inside okay. there? I get, okay. I see what you're saying. See, the thing is, if a man raped a woman, right, and y'all want to stop him from doing that, what y'all say? Castrate them. Get rid of it. But it don't cut happen. it. Wait a minute. What? Why is when a man does something, they want to cut it right at the at the point. It's done. No more else. He ain't never gonna be able to do this again to nobody. But with women, we give them an opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to keep doing the same bullshit. I, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing. I'm, I'm on your. I'm on your ass today, boy. Doing, I, I'm on your ass today. I still don't nobody else who agree with him. I'm I on your ass. I still don't think tying her tube is it. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll say it like this. Let's say they do tie her tube. I hear you can reverse it. Let's say maybe no, I, I'll, I'll meet you. Reversal. I'll meet I'll meet you halfway. Let's say I do agree with you and you tie her tubes. Maybe tie her tubes for no. I'm gonna ask you a question years. right now. No, this one, this is gonna solve it all. No, no. This is gonna solve it all right now. This is how you're gonna know if you bias or not. Okay, all right. A man rape a woman. Okay. Is he allowed? Should he be allowed to have kids? After. Straight took it from her. <laughs> should he be allowed to have kids? Answer the question. Yes. <laughs> y'all heard the nonsense, right? Y'all, y'all heard. Take put, it. You cannot put a one in the comment if you put a one in the comment <laughs> if you believe what Bean said. If you agree with him, that if take a man get, if a man take pussy from a woman, he should be able to have kids. Later on in life, you cannot take the ability people, the ability for people to have kids. Yes, you can. You can. You can do so that. So let me get this right. right. Let me though. get this right. We can take motherfucking freedoms away from people. The fact of them not able to move, not able to go see, go where they want to go, see who they want to see, do what they want to do, but we can't take a motherfucking uh, the the right for them to have offspring. That's, that's, if they're if that's they're that not, wait a minute, if they're that destructive to society, why would you want their DNA to keep going on? Clearly, something's wrong with them. This isn't. I'm just asking. That's not in day though, man. Huh? I'm putting somebody in jail and then taking their right to. All right. To okay. Okay. Life. Okay. Ray, watch this. I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you this. Ray, watch this. Let's say a man was a serial killer, and he had a kid that became a serial killer. Would you let this kid have kids? Cause he like you wouldn't think something there's a trend going on. In the gene pool, you mean? You wouldn't stop it and say, you know what? So the father just for kid, just for everybody's kid. safety, we're gonna head and cut this off. <laughs> you you know what you is? I'm gonna tell you what you is. And anybody else who agree with him, oh, here we go. you that motherfucker in Jason in motherfucking Scream and any motherfucking scary movie when the killer's right there. And you could chop his motherfucking head off. You walk away and you start a dialogue so he no, can fuck around. No. That's what you is, man. No, I'm not that. You let no. the you let you let the you got no. the killer lying in his sight and you won't fucking say no, pull man. the trigger. No, that's that's a whole different. Boy, Every, everybody know what I'm talking about. You be sitting there like kill this motherfucker. Why are y'all waiting? Because we because oh. we need to see a round two, another screen three, four, five. Come on, man. Let me see these comments. Oh man. He says it's legal. She can take it. <laughs> Think of your sperm ej ejaculation as you throwing your out trash. Once you throw it out, whoever can t get it, don't make it. Man, that's don't no. Make it right, but it's legal. See, See that, no. I didn't find anything saying it was illegal. So I guess, yeah, I guess it is. It is legal. Okay, I'm gonna say this. It might be legal, but it don't seem right. If a girl, I'm a, and this is my mindset. I'm just putting it out there. Let's say a girl was she was pregnant. Right or she had a baby, she breastfeed. I don't feel like I should be able to. If you work, if you in the, if you at the job, mm -hmm. and you got breast milk in a little section, and I go in there and steal that motherfucker, some something need to be done about that. I'm weird. 
Okay, still a, you still a resume. You definitely. Would. I'm just saying, it, like, bro, it, just because it's out your body, don't mean it ain't yours. Uh, they said that shit only happens to rich men. She ain't stealing no broke man's sperm. That's true. That's that makes it worse because the the rich men are the ones who shape the world, and the rich people, if they're getting uh, demonized and destroyed by women, you can imagine what the, the poor people getting done. They have no rights. Um, here's the solution: if she obtains. obtains a child through fraudulent means, like that, she forfeits any rights of the child support from Drake. No, because that see, this is the problem. That is, a, but that's a decent that's not a, no, it isn't a solution because not saying that she should get it, but I'm saying the fact is, first off, she should be stripped of the kid. She shouldn't even be allowed to have the kid. Because the, the merit of how she had it was fucked up. Secondly, if he doesn't give her child support, strip of the kid, how like strip? You know what strip mean? Taken. Okay, I thought you meant you like can't that. have it anymore. It's mine now. Um, this is what I mean by let's say he doesn't do child support. He he doesn't have to pay any child support. At still now he has a child. That's the guilt. He has a child out there that doesn't get to live the luxury lifestyle of his life. Because his mother did a demonizing thing and brought them in the light into life that he didn't want. So now he now the, the kid grows up having like daddy issues and all this other stuff. I just feel like something needs to be done more than just, oh, she goes to jail. The fact is, it was a failed attempt. I think she didn't even get pregnant. Yeah, I don't think she did. But that. what if she did? What she did, and then he put hot sauce in it, so you can imagine what kind of fucking grim, gremlin she about to bring into the world. Little Tabasco, uh, Greg. But I do, I do agree. I do agree with Jimmy. Like, strip, take the child. If she forfeits rights, she goes to jail. No, that was me adding the take the child. She said forfeit the rights of the child support. He's saying, oh, support, he's saying, yeah. he's saying, he. I think he's saying she should still have to raise the child. I don't even feel like. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with that because it's it's sad because like if you take the mother away, even though the mother is fucking disgusting, it's like the child now has to live in foster care or live with you know people who might not love them. I don't know. How do you even love a child like that? And, and not even that, you're a fucking psycho. She's psycho, dude. You would have to like mental wait health. To, wait, to be, yeah, give some mental health. Wait till he's older to to do what to to like, tell to let him know. Your mom is a fucking psycho. And they said, okay, I wouldn't take away reproductive rights. No, you take them away. They don't deserve them. Thank you. See, but a solution be would be she got to pay for that baby on her own. I'll give Drake a choice if he wants to take care of the child or even have custody. He needs, this one needs to happen. First off, he should decide. I feel like they should. This is the only only way it'd be fair. One, she goes to jail. Two, she stripped of the child. Three, Drake should decide what happens to the child. He should decide who gets custody. If he wants the custody of the child, he can have custody of the child. If he wants to give the child to whoever, maybe a family who doesn't have kids, who wants kids, he should be able to do that. She has lost every right she has to that child. That's my judgment. Judge Joe Canteen says, <laughs> Judge Joe the plaintiff. <laughs> next case. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be kind of cool, y'all, if we really, if me and Beans wasn't, like, 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 people, people brought up cases and what we decided, what we said was the decision of the case? <laughs> that would be nuts. Oh, my God. Y'all wouldn't want me to be the fucking, I'd do some. Take, take her on back and shoot her. Like, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're taking, taking reproductive rights, man. Like, okay. But that just shows you, like, and this is what I'm saying. I want ladies to start demonizing and going in on women who do fucked up shit. Y'all don't never really do that. It's like y'all do it, but y'all don't do it. Like when a man does something wrong, y'all go at his neck. But y'all don't do women like that. Why? Why is that? Tell me why. Tell me. I mean, truth be told, it, and a lot and a lot of it has to do, well, with this story in particular, I think it's the narrative, too, that, like you said, they're focusing on Drake putting the hot sauce in the condom instead of focusing on a woman trying to steal 
But the thing is, yeah, they don't they don't want to sit there and say the fact is that's like, oh, he should be more responsible. Why do people feel like because someone is rich or someone is famous that they have they have to go through these crazy hoops to be responsible than the average person? He said, loving the camera call. Yeah, hey, y'all see it right now, right? I got a new webcam, you know what I mean? I told you, we're trying to upgrade. We're going to get better and better as time goes because we're not stopping. Uh, uh, uh. And shout out whoever said that. Who is that? That is uh, Shay. Shay? Okay, Shay said uh, that's not true. And I got a haircut, so you know I'm looking crispy right now. Go ahead. Shay said that's not true. Yes, we do. We often lose friends because of that. She's talking about no, checking, checking the female. I need groups. I need Facebook pages. Y'all, see, see, when a man does something wrong to a woman, y'all go out y'all way. Y'all y'all put in time and I energy think, to destroy this I man. I think he's talking about cancel. I, I think he wants to I want to keep, I need cancel culture, ladies, because it's my, it's either gay people and, and y'all that are doing cancel culture because straight men ain't got the time or the energy to do all that. So I need y'all to go in there and destroy. <laughs> destroy this woman. I thought you were gonna say destroy this man. I was like, whoa. No, 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 no. I need y'all to destroy this woman and let her have to like she she should not the fuck up. This won't tell you what it is. The fuck up part about this is I bet you she got more followers from the whole situation. She got more wealthy for doing fucked up shit. Well, yeah, everybody definitely talking about her. If you didn't know her, you know you know her now. Like we this is the thing. I don't know where we got in this society where you do more wrong, you get more benefit from it. Like right now, we're doing a podcast. I could punch beans in the face and it might it might become viral. Oh, mm-hmm. pod, you know, a I podcast go left. goes left and, you know, co-host gets attacked by the host or da, 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 co-hosts fight each other. And guess what? People going to watch this shit and, I'm, and, and the show going to blow up more. And that's the crazy part. And the thing is, and I always say, I always used to say that everybody loves to watch a car wreck. We do. That's just that's just what we love. Oh I don't know if it's just as humans. Oh, I get chills matter. right now because I I love seeing destruction. You know, I'd I be mean, like, when you see a car all fucked up, you be like driving by, like, okay, is, is they alive? Yeah. Is they where's the person? And listen, I'm the type of person. I get annoyed at that. I love to watch people fight. That's that's my choice. I love to watch people go off and fight. I'm watching a good fight. I hate watching like a slap fight where ain't nobody really doing anything. You be like, they're not connected on nothing. Yeah. So it's crazy. Now we we're gonna wrap this up in a little about we got about 10, 15 more minutes before we gotta cap this up because I know the show going well, but I got some things I gotta do later, you know what I mean? Make a couple moves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So people thrive off negativity. Yes. I'm not gonna lie to you. Even me, even I love. I to thrive watch it. off negativity. Yeah, but I love to watch it. So. I don't know if anybody's seen this, but I made a post. Like I literally, I was like, "Tell me what you don't like about me," because I thrive off of it. <laughs> and I know it sounds so bad, but I do. I love to hear what things people don't like about me. That stuff is crazy. Cause wow. I makes me laugh. Um, let's see what we talk about. We talked about Drake crazy ass situations. Uh, we talked about, about tying to this though. Um, the division. Um, we talked about. Oh, we said Valentine's Day. Let's get back to Valentine's Day for a second. Do Do you feel like? And this is my opinion. I do feel like women are on their best behavior when Valentine's Day is around. When it starts leading up, fellas, if your girl been treating you like shit for most of the year, and then all of a sudden. That January come around, late January, she start being nice. She start doing stuff for you, taking you on dates, doing you know. Understand this is a this is a this is a power move. This is a setup play that she's doing to try to get the end result, which is validation on Valentine's Day for I think it's about the gifts, the gifts, and to show everybody else, hey, I got somebody that loves me. And then I'm gonna go right back to shitting on them as soon as I <laughs> get what I want. So, uh, so fellas, if you and then and then there's there's the flip side of it where fellas will cut off women during um what you say oh okay well yeah uh, where men will cut off women during holidays during days like you know Valentine's Day so they don't have to deal with any of it like hey you know what I'll get back with her when uh, Nick says Valentine's birthdays and Christmas that's true that is very true yeah. 
They get real know, nice. You know what a mistake I used to make? And I'm just going to base off what? I used to always say, well, that's a, I don't, I know a lot of people say this too, that, well, that's a female holiday. That holiday is for women. I used to say, honestly, I used to say that stuff all well, the time. What was that holiday that we had, we had found out? It, it was, was um, on Steak and Blowjob Day or yes, something? Yes. That's our day, fellas. Yeah. So I think. They'll try to take that too. <laughs> All right. I'm not trying to be negative in 2022. I know. I thought everybody thought I was going to be the negative one there. I, I'm trying to steer this the right way, but it's so, what it is. What's the most you spent on Valentine's Day? Don't lie. Uh, a couple of grand, man. God damn. I took her to, well, I, I benefit from it too. I took her to this uh, spot called White Oaks. Okay. It's like a re- resort retreat. Mm-hmm. I took her there for the weekend and we ate good. We had we got massages and stuff like that. It was you felt like the man, huh? You yeah. was like, yeah, I'm that walking around here. My thing is this. If you're gonna do something, fellas, do something you like. Especially if you pay you footing the bill. Yeah. I because I'm telling you right now, it ain't really about it's about her having a good time, but it's also about you just you the man. You gonna show her like, look, yeah. You couldn't even live this life without like, me. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I felt <laughs> like a king. Every woman was like, "Oh my god, yo, yo, husband, your boyfriend took you out here and did that." And I was like, "Damn right, I did." I was yeah. like, "Let him know. Let yeah. him know." I was walking around like a king, and then she went with her side man. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the day after, <laughs> anybody go do something the day after Valentine's Day. You you the you the official side piece. You the yeah. sneaky link. You the uh you know the coleslaw of the uh <laughs> of, the, of the meal. Of the meal yeah. You probably that nobody wanna eat. Yeah, I don't fuck with coleslaw. Uh Shay said don't I act up even more because if I still get something, I know if you love me. What kind of backwards? <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I mean, man. This is what I mean. Fellas, uh, we we let, we've let, on, we've let ladies just run wild. They think that being that's the bad girl stuff. They think being bad is gonna get them more. Say, come on, don't, don't all you gonna this, get dude. is get kicked to the curb. Said maybe a hundred. Okay, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars ain't bad for. I, I would love to know the difference between what men have put towards Valentine's versus what women have put towards Valentine's. I was trying to think. I I can barely remember things. I can say <laughs> right now, the by far the best Valentine's I ever had. Uh, my girl brought, she got me, um, oh, she got a, well, she did, I feel like she did it for herself more than for me. Okay. But well, I got what the, she, she, what she, the hotel. Okay. Oh, uh, when I came in, it was, it was, it was petals all over the place. It was balloons. She, she got, you know, cheesecake from the cheese. Oh, I got carrot cake, but cheesecake from the cheesecake factory. We went out to this. I paid for the, she paid for all that. Uh, candy and all that stuff, jacuzzi, and then I went. We went to a Japanese restaurant, and I paid for that. And but that was the Valentine's Day, and it was rose petals and that. Yeah, she got a robe. I was like, oh man, I, I, I had record. I was like, I had to record this because I don't get this from from ladies. So yeah, like I said, like uh, Valentine's Day, I don't expect much from Valentine's Day, and that's my fault. And I need, yeah. I need to be. I, I know, I we need to start being prima donnas, fellas. We got to start wanting for things to say, look, I'm special. I deserve something. Or do it for yourself, you know. But don't let mugs who've been talking shit about you all year round throw the, the, the switcheroo, the okie doke, the, okie doke the, the crossover when Valentine's Day comes. Tell them to keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Yeah, uh, Shay says I do go all out for Valentine's Day, though. Not gonna lie, after I'm done being the smartest, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's oh, just, man. it's just crazy, man. I okay. don't, I don't know anymore. I don't know either. But hey, y'all, go ahead and put a like, put a share, comment. Let us know what y'all want to talk about next week. Uh, today's what? Good. Today's Friday. I want you. 21st, I think. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, I want y'all to go ahead and have a good weekend. We'll see y'all Monday. And uh, I better see something in that cash app. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> see you, Mr. Coast. Hey, I'm your boy, Canteen. This is my man, Beans. Y'all have a good weekend. Hey, it's the social norm. Bing bong. I'm out of quarantine. Hey, Drake. Good luck, <laughs> my man. Peace. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Oh, Lord. What wow, man? No, I didn't. Say something else funny. Uh...
On, you better pay attention They teach you lessons Make you laugh when you're stressing Must I mention that the style is infectious I got a habit, I got a habit The rapid fire cabin on my tablet My boys established a gamut of information From relations to...